since I spoke to you in the world of wrestling, has there been any murders, any sexual assaults, any gunshots, any uh, lawsuits that we're aware of that have happened in the last 48 hours or so? That we're aware of? I don't think so. Well, thank holy f***ing Jesus and Nazareth for that, then. Although, thank you, Nails is now trending. Uh, uh, yeah. No, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> Maybe, you know, he was patient zero. Maybe we'll come to find out. He was right all along. See, the problem was, like, all the wrestlers that came out in 92, 93 and spoke out against Vince, for one reason or another, there was enough to point at them and say they're crazy. Yeah. Like Billy Graham, Billy Jack Haynes. You know, David Schultz, if you don't agree with him, you think he's completely fucking crazy. David Schultz, for a person who has not been around the wrestling industry and the colorful characters in it, David Schultz can be a harsh uh, uh, entrance to that world. He, You get a strong opinion of whether you want to talk to him or not real quick or whether he wants to talk to you real quick or not. But yeah, for various reasons, as you said, one or another... I mean, Captain Lou, bless him, but my God, you know, he didn't come off as the soul of probity. But Nails, you know, Kevin Kelly, Kevin Walcox, whatever his real name is, he was always considered I don't to think be... It, I don't think it's any of those, actually. I think you butchered the pronunciation of his last name, but it's not Kevin Kelly of the... Uh, Kevin Kelly, announcer Kevin right, Kelly, wrestled who also that. his real name in Kevin Kelly either. He's had to change it because of that fucking situation down in Pittsburgh. Well, whatever that was. Uh, funny enough, Kevin Kelly's real name is Michael Cole. But <laughs> uh, you now look at that story a little differently. I thought it he, was Richard Blood. He went in there. <laughs> that's Tito Santana you're thinking of, sir. He went in there looking for, went into Vince's office looking to, I guess, bring up an issue with pay. And Vince, his story was like Vince tried to fondle him <laughs> or something. So he choked him out. And then Vince was never in a meeting alone with anyone ever again. And, and then the, Vince's the, story was he just came in and started attacking me for no yes. reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, somewhere in between lies the truth that I I've, can imagine the... Uh, I can imagine the snatching of Vince more than I can imagine Vince going for the fondling of a, of a large, angry wrestler mad about his pay. Even if you might think that Vince might be predisposed to, to fondle anyone of any description. Maybe he was turned probably... on by the idea the guy was a prisoner, that the guy was like under control. Vince is a weirdo. He's a sicko. Who knows what turns him on? I, I, it probably wouldn't have been fucking nails even back then. If he, he, he was never a, a Hollywood fucking uh, poster boy. It was it's, like going Mr. To the, it's like going to the warden, right? Where's the big boss man? Uh, we don't need him right now. It's just me and you, Nails. <laughs> but they could have had a whole prison hierarchy there if everybody had lasted. Vince could have been the warden. Uh, Bossman could have been the guard. Nails could have been the convict. Could have been a whole thing. But 